Visa pour l'image is mainly a manifestation for photojournalism, which means photography, journalism, but the whole concept is a bit more subtle. Photo and journalism, it's creation, it's art. And uh, uh, in a way, um, photojournalism is very special among the world of photography. Um, for photojournalism, you need to, to take time, to take time to prepare, to take time to build a story. That's the result of a long time of meditation and thinking. And for all these reasons, uh, the images of photojournalism um, give you a special, special sight and, and a special moment for the memory. Uh, the, great, um, the great writer uh, Milan Kundera said, uh, memory is not, is not made by films, memory is made by images and images, photography images. Um, with photojournalism you can see things that you never see on the screen, that you don't see uh, when you look at the news uh, at television. Something different. For example, um, I saw um, a whole story about the men who just make recuperation of uh, old part of steel in Chernobyl. Very dangerous work because there is a lot of radioactivity. That is very difficult to express um, during um, a magazine on television. And in fact, I never saw it. And then today I saw it immediately with a good story, beautiful pictures, interesting pictures. Interesting pictures is more interesting than beautiful pictures. But uh, altogether there have been also an incredible retrospect of the works of William Klein. And uh, William Klein is one of the father, fathers of uh, photojournalism, you know. And, and you say that, you see that when he was going to Algeria, for example, or when he was going to, to Moscow, in the 50s. It was not just passing, he was not just passing by, passing through very quickly. He was staying. He was trying to find the right image, the right sensation at that moment. In fact, he was making a creation. He was making art. And I think that also the best way to understand the world where we are is not to have the scientific exact image because that does not exist. The best way is just to confront your own personality with the personality of another artist. And in fact for me I'm not so sure that intellectuals can understand the world but I'm sure that artists can understand the world and that is the whole matter of photojournalism altogether.